while I'm here, I'm gonna record you a second quick video straight away. I've decided to test facial exercises which uh, were supposed to plumb my cheek slash eye muscles. Many of you ask me what I think about facial exercises or facial yoga, so I've thought to make myself a guinea pig and test this particular one for um, a month, uh, doing, uh, th I think, two times 30 repetitions in the morning and in the evening. <laughs> the exercise I've been doing, I will just show you now so you know exactly what is this, is uh, doing a little circle around the eyes, opening the mouth, looking up, and now closing the eye muscles like this. So it looks like that. Within a few days I've felt <laughs> these muscles, uh, you know, plumbing and more tension in this uh, place. I've uh, noticed uh, increase in the size definitely within a week. However, within probably a week and a half, I started noticing quite a bad side effect, which I really, really, really didn't like. My um, eye bags started to grow. I've never really had a problem with uh, dark circles around the eyes, but I could not help to notice that this exercise made it much more visible. I don't doubt they're effective, and I'm not saying I will never try them again. However, I feel like they are much more intensive and invasive than face massage. Later on in life, maybe uh, the pros are stronger than the cons, but at the moment I feel like I prefer massage over exercise because I feel like any facial yoga, yes, it does make an impact in the uh, muscle or every area of the face we want to see the change, but it also affects other places and other tissues that we not necessarily maybe want the changes to happen to. So yeah, I have a little bit of mixed feelings about um, exercises and yoga. So I actually did not complete my exercise for 30 days. However, I still wanted to see the um, increase in this uh, place here. So I've actually started applying volifilin. So I think I think there is a difference and I think this can be attributed to exercise combined with volifilin. So uh, in here, I'm not sure if you can see it, I'll now show you the video that I've uploaded some time ago against uh, my face now, so I wonder if you're gonna be able to spot the difference. If you wonder why I wanted to plumb, or at least test if it's possible to plumb this particular area, it is because uh, of the idea behind this particular picture. This picture is very simple but truthful image of the places which for Caucasians, if they lose the volume in these places, that make them lose their youthful look. Just so I don't discriminate anybody, this is the area on the face of black-skinned people which make them uh, lose their youthful look if that place loses volume. Uh, this is where Asian face loses volume with age and if you want to look youthful, work on this place here. I hope that was interesting for you. You know, I like my little before and after and little experiments. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun for me to test it, even though I have a little, um, you know, side effect <laughs> from this. Thanks very much. Um, see you later. Bye.